looking at lead code number 108, convert a sorted array into a binary search tree. All right, so we're given an integer array nums where the elements are in sorted ascending order and we wanna convert it into a height balanced binary search tree. A height balanced binary search tree is a binary, binary tree in which the depth of the two subtrees of every node never differs by more than one. Okay, so here we have a sorted array of minus 10, minus 3, 0, 5, and 9, and we create this tree out of it, or it can be this tree. Okay, here's example two. Okay, and then constraints are nums are sorted strictly in increasing order. Nums.length is 1 to 10 to the 4th, and the values are minus 10 to the 4th to 10 to the 4th. Okay, so let's, let's think about this, okay? So here is our sorted array. And the way we want to approach this is we want to have three pointers, okay? We want a left, a mid, and a right, okay? Now, with a, a binary search tree, if the array is sorted, we have to figure out what is the root and what's going to be the left subtree and what, the, what is going to be the right subtree. Well, if we want it to be balanced, then the root is going to be in the middle, okay? We're going to have a mid here. That's going to be our root. And everything to the left of it is going to be uh, less than, and everything right of it is going to be greater than. And that's the idea behind a binary search tree. Everything to the left is greater, everything to the left is less than, and everything to the right is greater than. So what we can do is we can initialize these pointers at the zeroth index and right at the rightmost index, okay? And then what we wanna do is we wanna just create our root out of whatever's in the middle, okay, because it's sorted. And now we can recursively figure out what's going to be on the left and what's going to be on the right, just by passing in these pointers into our recursive function. Okay, so here we're at mid, and we have our left pointer and our right pointer. And so if we want to calculate the left subtree, we want to recursively do it, then all we have to do is just move this right pointer right over here. Okay, and so now it will calculate a new mid and the mid is just gonna be left plus right divided by two and then floor that. And right here, you can see there's two different trees. If you floor it, it's gonna look like this. And if you use ceiling, if you use the upper bound, uh, it's gonna look like that. So you can use either one, floor or ceiling. I'll use floor for, for this example. So here we have our new mid set at minus 10. Okay, it's just the zeroth index plus the first index, which is left and right divided by two, which is 0.5, and then flooring it, which will be zero. Okay, so here we are going to have minus 10 on our left. And now the left subtree, there's nothing there, okay? So we just need to figure out our right, right subtree, and what we're gonna do is pass in our recursive function. We're just going to set our left to mid plus one. We'll calculate a new mid, okay, which will just be three. I'm gonna set it. <laughs> right over here, and then that's going to be our right subtree. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put minus three right over here. Now, let's take a look at what's going on in our main function. If we come back up to the root, our left and right and mid are set here. So now when we're calculating the right subtree, all we're gonna do is move the left to mid plus one. So we're just gonna move this pointer, left pointer to mid plus one. When we get into this level of the recursive stack, um, the mid is just going to be the left plus right floored and divided by two. So it's going to be at the zero, one, two, three, the three index. And we're going to set that value to our right. Okay. There's nothing on our left. And so we just have to figure out our right. And all we do there is move our left to mid plus one. And then when we get into the next level of the call stack, um, our right subtree is going to equal this nine. Okay, so that's the idea behind it. If this is confusing, it, it, it's hard to kind of like conceptually get this when, when you're looking at these pointers. So I do recommend that if, if you're still confused on it, just, just map out the solution a few times, draw it out, and, and it, will, it will start making a little more sense. It, it can be a little, tricky to wrap your head around it the first time the first go okay real quick let's talk about time and space complexity on solving this 
we have to hit every single node. How many times are we hitting every single node? We're just hitting it once, but we do have to get, we have to hit every single node to create this tree, okay? So our time, time complexity here is going to be O of N because there's no way we can get through this tree without hitting every single node. Okay, so we'll have O of N on time. Now, for space complexity, we do have a recursive call stack, which is going to, which is going to be the height of the tree. So worst case, we're going to have a recursive call stack at you know three, which is going to be log n, the height of the tree. However, we do have to return the entire new tree. Okay, and that's going to be relative in linear. It's going to be linear to the size of the input. So our space complexity here is also going to be O of n. Now, if we're not counting that space, then we're only looking at the recursive space, then um, or the call stack space, then our space complexity is just log n. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the code. Okay, so first thing we want to do is just um, figure out what is our base case. Okay, so first we want to just add um, left, we'll initialize that to zero, and then add a right, we'll initialize that to nums.length minus one. Now our base case is, is if, if the left is greater than the right, what do we want to do? Okay, we just want to return, return null. All right, so if we if we are if the left is greater than the right, then that means that there's nothing on that side to put on that side of the tree. So we just return null. Now what we want to do is we want to calculate our mid. So we can say let mid equal um, math up floor, and we can do left plus right divided by two. Okay, so that'll give our mid index. Now we want to create our root. Okay, so we can say let root equals new tree node. And here we're going to just uh, put in nums of mid. And that's going to give our, our, our root tree node. Now we just have to calculate everything on root.left recursively and everything on root.right recursively. So we do root.left is going to equal sorted array to BST, and this is going to take in our nums. It's going to take in our left, and then it's going to take in our mid minus one. Okay, so the right is going to be mid minus one. And then here we're going to have root dot right, which is going to be recursively calling our sorted array to BST. This takes in nums, and this is going to be mid plus one, and our right. Okay, so that's going to be our new uh, left and right indices. And now all we do is just return uh, our root. Let's go ahead and run that, make sure everything works. And we're good. Okay, and we're making great time and space complexity doing it this way. Now, other solutions I've seen where they use slice, like you'll do nums.slice, you know, zero to mid minus one and whatnot. Uh, you can do it that way. The only issue is, is that every time you're slicing that array, you're creating a linear time operation. Um, so it's better to use these indices because then you're just using this this one array and you get much better uh, time complexity and space complexity doing it that way. Okay, so that is lead code 108, convert a sorted array to a binary search tree. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see everyone on the next one.